Hi, my name is Stephen Fluent, and I want to walk you through the process of updating from Angular version 4.0 to version 4.1. So 4.0 was released about a month ago, uh, and 4.1 was released uh, just very recently. Uh, and this is actually a very simple process. It'll probably be faster for you to do it than it will be for me to show and explain it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to my screen here, and you're going to see that I have a project here. So this is the Angular Update Guide project. So this was completely scaffolded out by the CLI. Um, so if we look here at the source code, you're going to see normal CLI things, so source, app, etc., package JSON. Uh, and there's two ways that we can actually update this application to the latest version of Angular. Uh, it doesn't have to be version 4.1 in particular. This will also work for any minor or patch version. Um, so the first way uh, is one of my preferred ways is actually using the command line. So if I do uh, ng version, we'll actually use the CLI to see what version we have currently installed. So you'll see that this application is still on 4.0.0. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to take all of these dependencies uh, and basically update them to the latest version. So I could go ahead uh, and do this directly in my package.json file, where I could just go and find a replace and say 400, uh, uh, and then go, and if I knew what version we were trying to go to, like 4.1.0, uh, I could go ahead and just find a replace, and we'd basically be done after an npm install. Uh, but I actually prefer doing it a little bit by the command line uh, because uh, it makes the process not specific to any given version of Angular. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say npm install, uh, and then I'm going to say at Angular. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a list of all the packages that we want to update. So animations, common compiler, compiler CLI, core. Uh, this application uses forms and HTTP. Uh, and we're also going to update platform browser, platform browser dynamic, platform server, which you probably only have if you're using any sort of universal. Uh, the router, uh, and then I'm also going to go ahead and add at latest, so we get the latest version, uh, and then I'm going to also update TypeScript and zone.js. So we'll say TypeScript at latest and zone.js at latest, and I'm going to say dash dash save, which will take all of the latest version of the dependencies that it finds in the registry, uh, and it's going to save that back out to my package JSON file, so that any changes that I make to the application or anybody else that checks out that application, they're going to get the right version uh, that gets pet. Uh, saved into that package JSON file. So we're going to see a few errors. This is just fine. That's that's how NPM works. Uh, but if we look at our package JSON, now we're going to have the latest versions of Angular here, uh, hard-coded in, uh, as well as the latest version of Zone.js uh, and TypeScript. And so what we should be able to do now is we should be able to uh, go ahead and do ng-serve. So we can see if we flip back to our browser here, this application that was running version 4.0 is now running version 4.1, uh, and everything's just going to keep working because of the backward compatibility. Thanks so much.